This is a 1964 T-Bird, and uh, it's in remarkably uh, original condition. It only has uh, 35,000 miles on it. It was built in Wixom, Michigan. Very original. And it was the first year of the fourth generation of T-Birds. They originally started out as two-seaters, then became square birds, and then were rounded, and now we have back to a square type uh, configuration. Notice the back seat rounded around the sides, pull down armrest, very nice console there in the middle, very sleek instrumentation in that console and uh, instrumentation there on the dash. The overall look is uh, uh, very similar to uh, aircraft. I think that was the attempt they were uh, making to make it look very similar to that. This is a, a nice color blue here and I do, do believe that's flow through ventilation there in the back. large rectangular taillights very large chrome bezels and you notice the uh, cover for the uh, key for the trunk lid and you notice it's a five sided figure and Chrysler was using a similar style for its corporate logo calling it a Pentastar and the four was very similar to that except the it was upside down compared to the Chrysler uh, Pentastar. Got nice uh, tires and white walls there, wheel covers. We've got uh, turn signal indicators on the tops of the front fenders. We've got a uh, vent wing in the front. And by the looks of it, the glass is not curved at this point because the uh, support is straight up and down. And this uh, chrome surround for the windshield. And the tolerance, as you notice, the tolerances are uh, pretty nice here on the body panels. It's always a good indicator of uh, how well the car is being held together and how accident-free it's been. And the spaces between body panels are uh, equal. Big front bumper. And notice how the grill is kind of built into the bumper area. We've got that uh, hood scoop there.